Hi YouTubers, it's Sally. Um, today is week two. Um, it is June 23rd, 2008, Monday, and it's time for my um, second week uh, weigh-in. Um, this week um, I weighed in and I believe I lost 4.2. So the total since I started my liquid diet on Memorial Day is 30.4. So, um, that's not bad for almost a month, 30 pounds, I mean, uh, so, um, I'm doing pretty well. I have been, um, nice class, have a glare on them. <clears throat> I have been, um, graduated to the next phase, which is, um, pureed food. Uh, I've only been eating, like, cottage cheese, um, um, ricotta cheese is one of the things you can do, um, popsicles still, uh, what else have I been eating? Oh, scrambled eggs, like I use egg beaters, with the, my, um, nutritionist says I can have, um, a little bit of cheese melted on, I can't eat cheese yet unless it's melted, so I had that, and then yesterday I had some, um, orange roughy fish, it was really good, but guess what, I ate it too fast and it just sat right here. So you have to watch. You really have to um, eat slowly. So, um, yeah, I'm doing really well. I have my, the first grade teacher at my school is getting married on Saturday. So um, I have a wedding to go to this coming Saturday, the 28th. And um, it's crazy because I, I'm, the, the thing that's bothering me the most is, um, what am I going to eat? Like, I'm, everybody from my work is going to be sitting around the table, and what do I do? Um, I thought about bringing one of those protein bullets and just put it in my water, but I, I just don't, I don't know what, how to act, how what to do. My mom said that, um, when my grandma used to diet years ago, she, whenever she would go to functions and she didn't want to eat the food, she would just, like, pretend like she was eating, like, put it up to her mouth, you know. So, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'm not a good actress, though. Um, what else is going on? Tomorrow is my birthday. I will be 43 tomorrow. And um, my boys and um, my husband all work. They all have to be at work at 1.30 tomorrow. It's convenient. Um, Matt was, my youngest Matt was kind of bummed because he didn't, he forgot to ask off for it. But that's okay. I can, I have things I can work on. Um, my husband had bought me for Mother's Day. He bought me one of those frames that you can put, um, pictures and videos in and I haven't even opened the box yet so I can work on that I can work on my book that I'm writing and um, there's lots of things I could do by myself I'm a big girl so apparently <laughs> um, uh, let's see so tomorrow's my birthday and um, I guess when you get to be this age you just it, it just doesn't make any sense to celebrate it so um, the boys is funny because the boys got me sugar-free pudding and um, they got me like this sugar-free, fat-free, cool whip. They were real careful when they went shopping. They said, this will be your birthday cake. And I'm like, well, I don't know if I can have that yet. So I, I'll just take a taste of it and make them happy. But, um, and then I have, okay, the wedding. And then, so the 28th is the wedding. And um, the day after is the 29th, which is the day that I got married. Because I got married five days after my 20th birthday. So it will be 23 years on Sunday that I have been married to my husband who I love so much. I love you, honey. Um, so we're going to stay overnight at the um, hotel where the um, wedding is going to take place because uh, Nicole had gotten a block of rooms for family and friends that want to stay overnight. So um, a bunch of the other teachers were staying overnight nice. And I am too. So we're staying overnight. So that should be nice. So the boys already have their little get together planned. For themselves so <sighs> my house can't get much more wrecked than it already is Daryl's remodeling and um, in fact I'm on the back porch there's a dishwasher back here that he just got delivered and part of the cupboard because the refrigerator was too tall and he had to take the cupboard off the top and he has to raise it up so um, yes my house is in disarray and it's driving me crazy um, I'm not a neat freak but I like to have things where they go and it's making me crazy. But anyway, I've been doing a lot of running around too. We've been going to um, 
We went to Home Depot. We went to Kohl's yesterday. We went to where else? We had Target, um, getting things, and um, I also went to some garage sales. I had gotten like two bean bags for my classroom, which my kids are going to love in the reading center. And um, I have to clean them up though. And I got some other kind of chair things, like cushiony chairs that open up to like a bed thing where you can lay on those cushion things that fold up and then you can open it up. I don't know what they're called, but I got those too. So they should look nice in my classroom. I'm excited. But <clears throat> I just don't feel like I'm on summer vacation yet. So I've been off two weeks and I just, I don't feel like I've been on summer vacation yet. So um, it'll be nice to see all my friends from work and um, a lot of them sent me birthday cards, which I was really surprised, but um, yeah. Um, usually though I don't get real excited about my birthday and I'll tell you why my family always has some kind of drama on my birthday it's always something since I was little my dad or someone will always cause some kind of drama so I kind of keep low profile about my birthday because it always ends up to be some terrible terrible horrible day so um, I haven't really been saying much about my birthday so keep it between us Shh. Um, also um, I told Tom I went to visit my mom I'm trying to establish a relationship between her and I again and I hope I don't get hurt but I am trying and also when I was at the grocery store yesterday I went to the grocery store too when I was at the grocery store yesterday I saw my sister and my niece and my um, my one nephew my sister had with her new husband who I haven't seen in a while he's almost two I think I've only seen him like three times his whole life um, but my sister I went to my sister and acted you know nonchalantly just went up and said hi how you guys doing and she actually talked to me so um, I don't know I'm trying but uh, things went awry with my, my dad, mom and dad getting divorced and you know my sister took sides with my mom and I didn't take sides with anybody. I was just trying to help my dad out because my dad's blind, but it's a long story. Um, but I am trying to make amends with people that um, I just don't want to get hurt anymore. And my boys and my husband, they're just standing back. They're not happy that I'm doing, you know, reestablishing these um, relationships, but they're supporting me. Do you know what I mean? They're kind of scared that I'm going to get hurt again, which I probably will, because I went into a very bad depression when my sister and my mom did the things that they did to me. Um, but that's about it. Um, so, yeah, 30.4, I think that's what I said, 30.4 pounds since Memorial Day, and I lost, what is it, 12 or 13 since my surgery two weeks ago. So, yeah, I'm happy. Um, I know the weight's not going to drop off like crazy, but hey. Um, hey, everybody have a wonderful day. Keep me in your thoughts and prayers, and I will keep you in mind. And um, a lot of you are having surgery, <clears throat> excuse me, coming up this week. Um, you are in my prayers. Um, I got emails from some of you. You know who you are. And I want you to know you are in my thoughts and prayers. And if you need anything from me, email me again, and I will be here. Um, and some of you, I gave you my phone number. If you are um, in need of me, call me. I'm here. I'm here all summer. Um, and I want to give a shout out to my brother Tom. Tom, keep up the good work on that liquid diet, honey. You know I'm here for you. And I love you all. Bye.